What is going on guys? Welcome back to Occupy Mars. So, after a quick autosave there uh, at the beginning, uh, we're heading back home. We're not too far away. We're quite far away, but not too far. Uh, we're going to um, hit over the last little bit here. I uh, hope everybody's had a good week, um, or a good weekend, good uh, week back end of last week. Um, for me, it was actually quite a busy week. I got quite a bit done, actually. Um, there's loads of stuff I still need to do, but uh, yeah, for the most part, eh, it was a long week um, last week. But uh, yeah, we're back here with Mars. Uh, back on, we're back here on Mars. We're not back here with Mars, but we're, yeah. I'm going to quit talking for a little bit. <laughs> ah, yeah, there's been a lot going on recently. Um, plus, I, I think a few of you uh, picked up on um, one episode last week, which I think was Thursday's episode that I didn't really enjoy that episode. Um, that was probably because of lack of sleep, um, just to point that out there. So that would have been episode 49, I think it was, at the top of my head. Um, yeah, that was probably lack of sleep because I actually uh, I didn't sleep properly for uh, a fair number of days. Um, I didn't sleep right for I think until about like Tuesday night. Uh, I think I was supposed to stream Tuesday night, and I didn't because of uh, well, I think it this way I passed out because I didn't. Well, every night I was getting less and less sleep. I think I, had, I was something down like four hours of sleep a night, um, if that. And uh, yeah. It, it, well, I, I really wasn't feeling very well, so, uh, yeah, that was that. And I've just realized I'm getting really, really hot sat in a hoodie uh, right now. Cause, uh, it's been actually really warm towards the back end of uh, at least last week, as you guys are watching this. Um, it's Saturday as I'm recording this. And, yeah, I'm sat in a hoodie um, because it was quite chilly outside, but in the, my office here, it's, uh, it's quite toasty. <laughs> I've got a PC sat next to us, and... A bunch of other electronic stuff which gives off quite a bit of heat so i might need to stop off and uh take off this hoodie at some point during this episode um a lot of guys what you've been giving me good feedback as well on is the um is the little uh water thing i'm planning on setting up uh, a lot of you guys are saying go for it so i'm actually really shocked but uh, I think it's somewhat different. Uh, I know a couple of you guys who actually play the game also. Um, may just be noticed while we lag a little bit. Uh, a couple of you guys who have um, played, uh, who play the game as well, have mentioned that you um, have your water, uh, yeah, have like a, an external water source, like I'm planning on doing. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do that. I'm not sure if it's going to be today. I think we're going to get home and um, we're going to sort out our water situation as well with. Um, I'll probably sort out the plants and stuff. I will probably head back out here relatively soon. I do plan on though. It might not be this week. It might be next week when we do it. Um, just a heads up. I'm not sure what I've recorded yet because, uh, well, I am recording episode one of five this week right now. So uh, it might be this week. But uh, what I do plan on doing is. Heading maybe north or something like that, and uh, going up into the snowy regions, and um, sort of just I don't know, building like a base with like limited materials. Obviously, we'll take like the heavy rover and stuff um, with us. We'll take enough maybe for a small uh, crusher, uh, rock crusher, and uh, a few other bits and pieces, but. We're not going to take a lot with us. Like, we'll maybe take like enough maybe for like a greenhouse, a dome, stuff like that, just so we can like have food production where we're going. We'll take some other bits and pieces with us as well. Um, but yeah, I think maybe setting up the uh, water station might be a good thing because it'll future-proof our water. Also, it'll give us like a nice little backup, and plus, it's not going to cost us much to do so. So we may as well, right? Anyway, we're home. Let's unload. Get some more uranium. Alright. Let's, uh... This thing actually needs charging. Um... Good. Damn another rock's back. <laughs> um, right, where should we charge this thing? Um... Because it wasn't fully charged before. Uh... Where can we go to charge? Um... 
accidentally pressed V there as well and then swung the camera around. Motion sickness, um, be aware if you get motion sick. <laughs> anyway, I think what we'll do is, uh, I think I'll hook it up to this, I think. It's not going to power it up massively, but I'm not planning on using this that much in the next sort of week or so. so. Uh, oxygen's full, so we don't need to worry about that. It's really powering it. It's while we open up the door as well. Oh, I need to take care of those rocks again. I think when you've been away from base and you reload, it does that. Uh, I think this one here is set up for, um, for power outage, I think, if I remember rightly. But I take it out. No, I took it out. Um, actually, is there somewhere else where I can hook up? Where I'm not going to be stealing too much power. I think over here, right? Might be a better decision because uh, we've got 122 watts in, and I don't think we're using 122 watts out. No, we're not. So this one might be actually better one to hook up to. So, um, there we go. So that'll give me four watts out. That might be a bit better actually. So port seven this one uh, duh, 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 uh five been a week since i played the game so i'm a little bit rusty on some of the stuff this see is going to give a little bit of wattage out but I... actually you know what i was going to do i was just going to build like a medium panel and then just plonk it here as a temporary measure just to charge up the thing but that there can be um we'll give it a four for now uh, I think we should be good. Right, let's, um... Hmm. Because that is a chunk of rock. Uh... You know what, I'm just going to move them over here for now. Can't pick that up, though. There we go. Right, let's go unload our inventory. Because uh, we've got extra uranium and stuff like that on us. Uh, we'll go set out our what situation next. We'll also go check out the um, bits and pieces in the um, inside. But yeah, um, it's a new week. I'm actually well rested, believe it or not. Um, I actually had a relatively good night's sleep last night. Well, I eh, beg to differ, but uh, yeah. Um, I, I'm sleeping again properly, at least. I, I do know what the issue was. It's just... Uh, a lot of uh, stuff going on all at once uh, is the main root cause. Anyway, we're not going to put this stick in yet, so we'll put it there for now. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to go and put uh, probably these guys in here just for safekeeping. Um, I'll put my cement in here as well, ready. Uh, we'll go fill up our water bottles and everything as well, just so they're full. And we'll go return one bottle back to the rover, which we had to use last night to be able to sleep. And hello, you're back. Unknown or uh, let's do do, 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 do do number four silicon. Right, you know what? I'm gonna move this out outside with you. Huge chunk of silicon. Right, just so I don't have to put up with it. But yeah. I uh, hope everybody else has had like a great week last week. I hope everybody's having a great Monday as you guys are watching this. I had a great Monday because uh, usually I put these out later on during the day, don't I? Um, I've got a few plans for the future as well um, going forwards. Um, I might run those past you this week. I just think it, I'm thinking about playing some of the games as well. Um, we're sort of starting to get towards the end of um, our Occupy Mars Let's Play, at least for Season 2, for a little while. Um, they haven't actually really announced anything more for the game either, which I'm sort of shocked about, actually. Um, usually by now, they've uh, at least announced, like, sort of like the up-and-coming update. Um, stuff like that, but, uh, yeah. They haven't as of yet. Um, 
Right, so the plans for this week so far... Oh, I'm going over here again. The rover, the rover's over there. I forgot. Um, the plans for this week is to get uh, maybe a bit more power generation up and running. Uh, set up the um, the water stuff. And once that's all set, um, start maybe uh, down there on the new water production. Uh, I think it's going to be the main the main drive for this week. First things first though, we're actually going to go over here and go check out our plants because uh, a lot of these should be more or less growing. Some of you guys have also mentioned in here as well, uh, just set all these to 100% all the time. That is the plan, or the, at least the long term plan. Uh, these guys are fully grown uh, as well, so that means we can pick these. These guys are also fully grown, which means we can pick those. Right, I guess what we'll do is we'll start with the, uh, the cabbages. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen i think about 16 can go in here either side so all right we'll start with the cabbages we'll um we'll get the cabbages pl replanted and everything uh these guys are lettuce yes yeah, so we need more cabbages my cabbages uh pumpkins cabbages lettuce so lettuce cabbages pumpkins yeah yeah right so let's get these guys going shall we um i don't think we've got any more cabbages in here yeah we've got one but uh right okay so how many seeds do we need so we need at least three batches of seeds of cabbage so um right let's just do three batches of seeds uh for cabbages i'm not even sure if this is turned on it's probably not because i do like to just conserve power a little bit turn these guys on and off does help a little bit in the long run it does anyway um if you're using it all the time it's just worth uh taking it off right let's uh split the stack down to let's say 10 uh, and we'll go from 10 if i can actually type 10 properly there we go uh right so 10 uh so that gives me a total of uh 21 seeds which is way too much so um i'm gonna do uh say nine in this I need about around about like 16 or so. 19. One less. 16 will do. Right. Uh, so that's me cabbage seeds. Actually, and then I need another one, don't I? So let me do uh, nine again. And that's two sets. I don't think I have enough for three. So I'm guessing I'm only doing two. The rest can go into food, which is the time we're actually starting to now make food again which is going to be fun 19 18 maybe i was doing before yeah it was it wasn't it yeah i remember now my bad All right there we go uh so 16 combine uh i think yeah i don't have enough for one more so right that there's going to be our seeds for at least those guys Uh, the rest of these can go in here. Uh, we're going to replant those guys, though. Uh, right, so one of those is going to get replanted. So let me just uh, split the stack down to one. Uh, for now, we'll go replant those. Um, we do need... Yeah, we can actually start making food. Uh, we've got more than enough to start making at least some sort of food. Um, we've got enough of these guys, enough of these guys means i can get rid of these in here as well we can start eating proper good nutritious food just great right let's um let's go start planting stuff oh there we go there's my pc fans kicking on nothing like a good old uh pc fan kicking on in the afternoon right let's uh i think we plant first uh, and then we'll do the rest from there. Right, okay, so cabbages go in here. So there we go. Right, let's go make sure that these guys don't wither. And I just pulled this by mistake. Now I've got to go through the chuffing animation. Plants are withering. Yeah, I know. I accidentally opened up this stupid thing. 
it takes forever for it to come back on right turn you on there we go so these guys are going um water is we're starting to use more water again so i think definitely having another source of water at least might i think it's a good decision uh right so are these guys ready to be harvested these guys are ready to be harvested these guys are ready to be moved uh, and those guys are ready to come back out and go down here so yeah we've got a nice circle there going these guys are working on um these guys can get moved so um let's start moving these guys I can't actually see where I'm planting them because they're too good damn big. Only thing is when you get to like this many plants, you can't actually see what you're growing. Okay, we're good. Right, let's start these guys off. So let me just start all of this up. Um, now that we've got production rolling down here as well, we'll uh, we'll keep production rolling. Obviously, going in, as we go into uh, as we get everything fully grown and everything things all growing at the same rates we've got plants in everything um we will um just leave everything on max uh or everything on where it's at because we're just going to be putting plants straight into where we need them uh type of thing so uh yeah we'll, we'll do that eventually uh right now we've obviously got to keep this going i think like over here uh i think we've got all this um ready to go so um yeah we're good on that front so i don't think we need any more lettuce at the minute so what we'll do is we'll just leave where current lettuce is there for now because um yeah we've got um plenty of lettuce to make some good mres um right so what we'll do is we'll pull that over there i think what we'll do is we'll start making some mres i don't oh uh, yeah we've got some pumpkins which we need to transplant so right let's do pumpkins first before we do anything else right so uh let's hit number four Start getting these uh, pumpkins out and we'll get these guys into this tray table i'm just going to put this down i can load in from the top first am i putting these in the right one no i'm not no i'm not am i damn it yeah these guys are uh, pumpkins my bad Right, there we go. Right, so this is going to stay on probably all the time now. Um, so pumpkins are going to just sit there growing constantly. This is going to sit on there growing constantly. So we're starting to get up to like our peak of like uh, water production and stuff. What we need to hit as a milestone. Just keep production going. Uh, obviously, we've got uh, these guys sorted. Uh, so yeah, I shouldn't need to change anything on this at all. Yep, that can stay the same, this can stay the same, and that can stay the same now. So yeah, we'll always have crops in those now, I think. So yeah, we won't really need to touch that anymore, really. That's that's the plan going forward. I don't need to touch no dials anymore. It's just like literally just plant and take care. Uh, right. Um, I think we've got some pumpkins to go pick out in the dome. So we'll pick these guys just so with the picked. And to be fair, I think it's the dome what's do, uh, messing with the uh, what production more than anything else. Like right now, um, don't really need any of this on. We've got nothing out here uh, other than leaving the lights on just so like I can see the next time when I come in. Uh, 0.01. Obviously, leaving these on probably max all the time is probably fine, but why waste stuff when you don't need to? It means we get a little bit more extra in the uh, in our back pockets, uh, in our batteries or whatever we're using at the minute. Right, okay, so they can go back in there. Right, let's start making some, uh, some proper food. So I think we've got like plenty of pumpkins for now. Uh, so we'll probably use these pumpkins... 
probably use all of them probably uh we'll probably use up all the lettuce and cabbages as well still got one thing of uh cabbage in there but uh i think we're only growing cabbage in one place which is actually in there at the minute but we've got enough to start making food so we're going to start making food i want to start making food Right, let's start putting everything in now, shall we? And I didn't grab the um, the beets. That's one thing we do need. There we go, beets. Right, so let's start making some good food, shall we? So, uh, one thing we're going to need is... Uh, we'll start with this. Uh, the pumpkins, uh, lettuce, cabbage, and... Uh, beets. That there gives me this. Let's, um, let's process that. That's only going to give me one. Um, so then what we'll do is we'll then do... Uh, uh, do pumpkins in this order. Uh, so pumpkins, lettuce, uh, cabbage. Probably in that order. I'm probably going to have to actually take this out. This is going to give me like different nutrition because I think these give me different nutrition on uh, on each one so uh, as as we make the plants better the better these mres are going to get so i think this is already better than these mres anyway so yeah it is uh, by quite a bit so yeah right let's um let's hit that one up right so that's pumpkins lettuce okay so i need more lettuce uh, so lettuce will go in there uh, to create the last set i think There's another seven food. All right, let's make the, this set of food here. Oh, they all stack, look. That's not too bad then. Because there's not one kicking around in my inventory, is there? No, so, well, that's good then. Right, let's, um, so this is going to give me three packets of food uh, again. So, uh, let's do that. And I think that is everything actually no it isn't because uh, we're now out of pumpkin i oh, know we've got pumpkins so pumpkins lettuce uh cabbage i've got no more cabbage so right okay all right well that's it for that then so that is at least some better mres maybe we've made quite a few mres there is that everything yep that's everything right okay let's turn off the food processor there we go food we are making some good food Yay. Alright, so pumpkins can go here for now. Uh, we're going to try and use them in that order. Um, beetroot can go up here. Uh, lettuce can go there. Um, and so can our other beets. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, obviously, our beets are just going to get better and better and better as we go. So, that's fine. Uh, this is going to be our food. So, we've got 11. Uh, it's not a huge amount, but it's not a tiny amount either so uh we've got crappy food we've got more nutritious so there you go we're getting a little bit better right anything else we need to do today um these are all in these are all in uh domes are off um these guys just need to grow as well so i don't think these guys are nowhere near ready no right um i think that's more or less one day down uh, i'm not sure what we're going to do with tomorrow yet um because i'm making this stuff off as i go well actually first things first let's take off our helmet we don't really need our helmet on while inside we're just wasting oxygen which we've got uh, in the base luckily all right what we're going to do is we'll fill up this oxygen bottle i also want to change the color of the suit again because every time i uh load into the game it resets my suit colors which is very annoying not sure if that's a bug or not, but, uh, yeah. Secondary color, black. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. I don't mind doing that. It makes us use that machine once once a day. Uh, right, do we need to do anything outside? Uh, no, because it's getting dark. Uh, anything we need to do inside? Uh, other than maybe turning on one of these and putting this in, maybe it's the mechanics workbench. Uh, I think it's mechanics which we need to uh, unlock more stuff in, isn't it? Uh... 
Yeah. We've got two points in here. Let's uh, just have a scroll through. I'm thinking about getting the controller. Um, so we can, like, remote control stuff. Uh, it might be fun. Uh, just so then we can, like, remote control the rover if we have to. There's also achievement for that, I think. We can also get the, uh, the drone as well if I wanted to. Um... One thing I do want to do, though, is start using the antennas a little bit more. Antenna remote control software update to extend the remote control range of the antenna. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think like we can start putting down things like um, like antennas and stuff. Um, I did have a little bit of mess around with these originally at one point, but I didn't quite understand how they work that well um i still don't know i, I think like if you if you go to your map for instance i think you can extend like the range you see via the antennas so like so if i like, say put an antenna up here another one like over here uh, and then another one over here i think it like extend the map range i think i'm not 100 percent sure that's what i'm guessing it does like this one's obviously the antenna in our suit um but yeah, I think that's what it does. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, I'm sure one of you guys will let me know. Is that true? Am I thinking the right thing here? Or am I not? Um, Alright, let's turn on that. What we'll do is we'll set this guy off. Uh, it is a one for... Actually, it's for the right one, so... Am I actually looking in the right one here? I always get these guys mixed up. Yeah, I am looking at the right one. Okay. Right, let's pop you into inventory. Uh, let me just go beep, beep, boop. Right, that can do its thing. And uh, let me just double check this as well. Do I have enough? Uh, okay, so I used one big circuit board somewhere. I don't remember where, where I used that now. I'm guessing I used that at some point. Right, so let's, uh, let's just go to see if we can find another big circuit board. Small. Ah, there we go. I think what I'll do as well is I'll just pull that out. Drop that down to the bottom and pop you in there. Just keep everything together. Right, and then you can go in my circuit board box, which should now be full. Yep. Always carry that thing on me. It's great. Right, uh, what should we do tomorrow? I think maybe we should um, finish off planning the Operation Water. I think so I know a lot of you guys are interested in it I think then what we'll do in tomorrow's episode we'll continue with that right how's our um, batteries doing on our body uh, we're all right uh, for now um, I guess what we'll do is we'll eat some food though some of our good food yeah look at that that's just filled me right up <laughs> hell yeah love this food um, it should also drain faster as well it's so drain slower as well so food should last us a bit longer but um, yeah, that is the recipe anyway, if you guys wanted to know, for the best food you can actually get in the game. Right, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go to sleep. I don't think there's anything else we can really do inside the base. Other than maybe making some more of these panels, I think. Actually, let's go make some more of these um, panels, because, uh, well, having a lot of these panels missing is actually starting to wind me up a bit. Uh, so I think obviously replacing the panels might be a good idea. We'll just turn on our flashlight. We don't need anything else. Then we'll go from there. Right, so uh, I can't remember what they're called. They are called Universal Wall Paladins, I do believe. Right, how many should we make? Because uh, they're quite expensive. Uh, but we've got the materials to do so. So I think I make 20. Um, I think that's probably going to be overkill, but uh, I think that is about right for what we need. And I guess that's what we can do maybe tomorrow a little bit as well. Let's just go around the base, start making more of these panels if need to be, and uh, do what we need to do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to deck out, um, especially around like the bits where I'm at a lot. Like around here. Right, let's take off our helmet again. Right, let's um, go to inventory and let me just pop these in here. So it's on number five. Uh, so if I look at this one and do number five. Like they do pop there, but it's they're a little bit 
irritating to uh, actually start putting in. Because that's supposed to be there and it's just not... Not triggering up there. Nope. It just does not want to pop up there. Oh, there we go. Hold on. There you go. It's on top. I don't know if I have to maybe just look down at the thing. Oh, there we go. I have to actually look in the general place I want to place them, so... There we go. Right, so there's this bit here done. Uh, this bit here looks fine. Down here looks okay. Hmm. Right. Okay. Let's let's go sleep. We'll do this tomorrow. We'll do it in the morning. I think I've got enough water for one night, haven't I? Probably. Right. Well, I no, we don't. Uh, okay. So what we'll do is we'll just go fill up our water bottle next door, and then we'll come back and go to sleep. I'm also going to take my hoodie off as well because I'm starting to get a little bit warm. I've been recording for about half an hour or so, and I am getting a little toasty. Right. I'll sleep. I'll take Hoodie off. Let's do it. Alrighty, we're back, and I've got my hoodie off now, so... Oh, feel cooler already. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like myself a good hoodie, though. Um, I do wear hoodies a lot to keep warm, especially during the winter time. Uh, I think it's starting to get out of, like, uh, hoodie season, though. Um, so it's a little bit less... Um, yeah, look, we're missing, like, a bunch in here as well. Right, okay, let's fix these. Um... It is becoming out of hoodie season, so it's uh, it's a little sad because I've now got to wear shirts more. <laughs> to be fair, I've got a lot of good shirts as well, so it doesn't really bother me too much. And at number five, sometimes I think it doesn't actually bring them out. Why? I'm pressing number five. And use this here. Hello, game. Why are you not letting me pull out number five? Ah, oh, there we go. Right, there we go. So that's now in. So if we now leave and then come back. Oh, I've got to actually walked far enough away for where that section shuts off. That section doesn't want to shut off now. If I walk this way, there you go, that six is now shut off. There we go, we're now lit up nicely in here. Right, let's see if there's any more over in this general. I don't think there is. Yeah, there's one panel here, look. Just missing. Yeah, it's just this one. So we've used, yeah, we've used a few. We haven't used them all, but there we go. At least that's my interior sorted in here, which is really, really, really nice. Alrighty. Right, let's start prepping for the expansion, which is going to happen tomorrow's episode. I think we're going to call Operation Water, I think. Uh, wrong wrong uh, thing. Uh, yeah, so Operation Water, I think I'm calling it uh, for now. Um, which means we're going to have to plan for... Why do I keep on doing that? Um, which means we're going to have to just get a lot of things ready, really. Uh, these guys can just live in there for now. And we've got loads of abandoned tablets ready. We've got a detonator as well, which I might actually make some explosives for. Um, but yeah, uh, I think let's head down to where we're going to be doing Operation Water. And let's, um, let's just go scout it out, figure out if there's anything else I want to plant. Um, and just figure out power situation. Um, because we might just put a small battery down there as well, just for, like, just to, like, grab access power. Um... 
I, obviously, excess power is going to mean a lot. Um, just for the bits and pieces for if we need it. But, uh, yeah, let's head down where we're doing Operation Water. I like, quite like that name, to be honest with you. I really do. We're using this guy as well. We're using it instead of the heavy uh, rover. Just to switch things up a bit. We don't use, We tend not to use the other vehicles. <laughs> I'm using this one to like sort of do like trips like this where we we sort of need a vehicle for this but uh the heavy rover is a bit too big for the task and i'm getting frame drops because we haven't actually been over here yet and i'm out of water as well um which is actually really not good right so um let's start doing some math as well so one of these guys gives us how much power so one of these guys gives me um, idiot power day and night. So these guys take five power each, correct? Like during the night. Uh, da -da 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 -da, which is under resources, you. So you do five power at night. So and how many of these guys we've got? So we've got one, two, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's 60 power just for these guys. So that's 60. Um, where I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run a battery here too. So we're going to do um, from that to that. Actually, no. From that to battery to then battery into this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop down a battery and then I'm just trying to like sort of mark everything out so everything's like perfectly spaced because like going like taking this actually how many of these do we need uh, I think we need I think a total of how many did I say so two four six so uh, 12 I need 12 this guy has I think four in it right so we need four or how many do the expansions have? Uh, the expansion has four each side, so four, eight, twelve. Yeah, so we only need this one plus an expansion, so that's fine. Right, so I think putting a battery in here is a good idea. So, battery can go in here. Like so. So it'll go from this to battery, which the battery will then hold a small amount of charge. Um, actually, we might need to put two of these guys here. So um, can I fit two? Because it, I've, I've just realized 12 is enough for... So uh, that does 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so that does 12. This does 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, so that's 12. So... That there will be enough for that, but we're going to need, um, I'm going to need two of these guys in here. So, uh, one for this and then one extra for, because we're going to put defenses here as well. So we're going to have to put like a, a rocket defense and uh, stuff like that. We're all going to power this all off of one guy because we've got more than enough power to do it. So if we've got more than enough power to do it, we may as well just do it, right? Um, so I'm thinking what we do then is we maybe knock this guy over by one by one tile like uh, like so yeah like so and that there gives me power for where we need it I'm thinking what we do is we also put a tank down here as well uh, right so I'm thinking let's get rid of that let's get rid of that Okay, so let's do um, battery next. It also allows me to expand the battery out if I need it to. Um, right, so battery pack goes here. Battery can go there, and then let's put in our power situation, which is going to go roughly... Da -da 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 -da. Where is it? There she is. Uh, we're just going to go here somewhere. As close as we can get it to everything else. 
be honest with you, it might actually be wise maybe just to get rid of the battery pack and then just do um put in this guy first. Around about like here, I think. And then do battery pack. Possibly something like that. Yeah. And then they can expand that way. All the water, I do believe. I think I'm just going to run down here into this guy. And then from this guy, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in... Hmm. I think this is going to be the one what sends the water out, I think. So it's going to go from here to water out to base. Um... And I want this to be like sort of like on the edge of our build. So thinking about moving this and then popping this in maybe uh, pumping station, pumping station, pumping station. We're going to build a couple of these pumping stations, by the way. Um, so I'm thinking like pumping station, maybe there to go to base. But there's going to be the one out to main base. Um... I think that uh, we're going to put one of these guys in just to hold water, really. Um, I don't think I've ever actually filled up one of these, but uh, like just somewhere to place the water I think might be a good idea. And I'm thinking about doing it maybe he's on this back edge, um, just behind everything. And this here should hide it from the main base. I know it's ugly as sin, but... I don't think it really matters uh, that it's ugly as sin. Um, so yeah, all the water can go in that side maybe. I'm thinking what I might do then is I might do water out from here, out to that, and then from that out. And then what we'll do is we'll do sort of like the, maybe run all the water pipes down this end. And then out into there maybe. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a plan. Obviously, this is just preparation for Operation Water. It's going to be overkill, massively overkill. I want to do it, though, just because I think it's a bit of fun. I think it's something we can do. And it's also a change as well, right? Okay, so, yeah, um, all water pipes can run down from whatever tank they're in, which means we've got water storage here, here, and big tank, um, which, it, like, worst-case scenario, if I use up all the water, um, obviously... Pumping stations down here are going to just be making a crap ton of water. That's going to be storing a load of water. That's going to be storing water. That's going to be storing a load of water. I'm not going to have to run into water issues. Like, the only time I'm going to run into water issues is if that cable from there up to the main base is broken for whatever reason, like a meteor strike or catastrophic event, or if I accidentally shift click the, um, the cables. <laughs> That's another thing. But yeah, this will be like making water all the time. And I think it's quite compact um, for what I've just made. I, I do believe. I think it's compact enough. I don't think I can compact it anymore, really. Actually, now that I've moved this, I can actually move this more in line with that. So that... Mm, like, my only issue is that I put all the water pipes together. All of the electricity pipes are all over the shop. I don't think it really matters. I think, just, yeah, I think keeping it all like this, I think it, it's compact enough, um, I think. So, yeah, this is purely just to make water. Um, I think next episode we'll start it. I think right now, I think we've more or less, like, you know, like prepped. I think we are well prepped for this. I think we're really, really prepped for this. I think that's like perfect. It's like sit back here too. Yeah, that allows uh, sit on the floor. Yeah, right. And I think then what we'll do is we'll put in uh, two meteor defenses uh, as well. Um, just so we've got, we're protected over here too. Um, I don't think it's really, well, two will more than do it. Um... I think two's probably overkill for this, but um, hey, we've got the power over here. Why not? Uh, one there, I think. And then what we'll do is we'll do maybe... 
Maybe it's one over here on the on the opposite side. I think maybe he's doing like one over here. I think maybe it's like one like uh, around about maybe he's. Maybe he's there. Uh, there should be nice enough to one one to shoot that way and then the other one for to shoot as well. Yeah. We've got more than enough of that. Like so like let's figure out the power and make sure we've got enough. Um, which I think we do. So these guys take five each as well. So that's like five each full time. Um so we've got um ten twenty thirty, so sixty seventy power. 70 power we're going to be using here and one of these guys is idiot so we're going to be star and power as well which hey if we have to we can come down here and like hook up the rover or something if we absolutely have to um like just random stuff like that like i can maybe park like maybe it's an atv down here or something and then just like leave the atv here but, like if i ever need to like charge some, like the heavy rover or something i can just like pull it in here and use our secondary um our secondary source here just to do this like you know like second secondary power source just to do like just to charge things you know like i can i can just like unplug this from the battery the battery can power that up and then we can just like charge the heavy rover off of this for a couple of days or something and then just take like the atv back up the hill i might end up just leaving this down here uh should i shouldn't i i might leave an atv down here maybe i don't really know i might bring a tv uh, just because atv mm, i don't know We'll figure it out. Right, so that's how Operation What is going to look. There, there's a, a quite nice plan of it. Um, next episode, we will start building her up. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think definitely... Like, obviously, I could run the, the thing from there all the way out up. I think running it from there over here to this, and then from that up, it'll just make it easier for me. Um... Just to, like, just in case I accidentally delete it, then I don't have to run it back around there. It's a little bit less further to go uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, I think we're going to have to start creating some more water pipes. So, right, let's, uh, let's go prep for that because I think we're going to need at least a thousand more water pipe. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we'll go start making that um, as of now. And then after this episode, I need to go grab myself a drink because I am starting to feel it. I don't have a drink. When I sit here and talk to you guys all the time, it does take a toll on my voice. I talk all week as well, so... Which doesn't help. I don't know how I've still got a voice some days. And some of you guys hate me talking as well, uh, especially over the games. I, I know I have one guy comment once saying um, this episode would have been quite good if you didn't... if you actually just shut up. I was just like, well like rude and yeah he got blocked enjoy your block there's your shout out to whoever you were i don't even know who it was it was some i don't even think the guy was even subscribed so i'm not really too fussed having that one there as well is a good shot as well just so i know where everything runs through i could actually probably put a uh, um so up on this side we've got no water storage so whatever we use will just be pulling from whatever so, um, obviously, we've got the one that's down there, which will run all the way up to here. I could put this one at the edge, and then we'll run one from the edge all the way over here into this, which I might do. Um, it depends on how I feel. Like, I could actually... Mm, should I do it? The only thing is, though, is putting one on the edge is if I come over the hill a little bit too fast with, uh, with that thing, I'm going to hit it and destroy it uh like this one i think was yeah this one right here um i kept on when the uh, ramp was over here um i did reverse into this once and completely destroyed it with the heavy rover um so i'm a little bit uh hesitant to put it there on the edge so i'm thinking putting it here it's then tucked out the way um 
I think obviously putting another one in. Do I really need it? No. Um, do I want it? Yes. Um, plus, it, I'm not putting anything here. Um, so this sort of like builds out this area a bit. And, um, well, yeah, it just allows me to um, tidy up a little bit of water pipe. I do like all these water pipes running like this, though. I sort of like how that runs over the top of something, but it's a bit kink there, for my liking. Um, but yeah, these guys are storing a lot of water now, uh, which is nice, actually. So if we come into here, we should be storing... Yeah, we're, we're storing water. We're not really losing it. But um, yeah, I think definitely having that extra storage tank down there at least full um, would be nice. Like, obviously, then I can control, say, this. So what I can do is I can jump on this one, set this to zero. So there's, like, no water flowing to this, the main system. This is, like, the main system to the base. Um, so like main water system to the base um, from the main water reserve um, then we've got water external um, obviously I'm only going to fill up one and one out um, but yeah I can shut everything off here so I can isolate that down there if I need to um, is the plan it's like this is like our main like sort of like your water source to your house type of thing where you can turn it off if you need to um, and then we've got another one because we've got two water sources, which is nice for later on at least. Right, uh, is there anything else I want to do around the base? Uh, I've done a lot of talking and not much doing. I think what we're going to do though is I'm actually going to build this. Um, I'm not really using this section. Oh, great. Incoming sense. Oh, that's what we're going to do. More water pipes. We'll go do those in a minute. Um, incoming sense in the next six hours. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build this. Uh, I think it's just, uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, it's another way in and out of the base for, if, if in case of emergencies type of thing. We're going to use it now just to see what it's like. I've got, I've got resources for this, so it doesn't really matter. We're probably going to be doing a lot of backwards and forwards up and down the hill as well uh, in the next episode. So yeah, this is going to be our secondary airlock. If I literally just knocked the power off on the base, am I finally out of power? <laughs> no? I didn't put double airlock there, didn't I? I'm sure I put double airlock there. Yeah, that one's lit up. I, I guess that just didn't want to work after I built it. There you go. That's a nice, easy way. Emergency exit. In and out the base. I also put a, an iris there just in case things get hit or something bad happens. But yeah, I'm not really using this back bit at all when I'm driving around. So it's sort of a bit pointless. Um, So having like another exit. Uh, I think a lot of you guys agreed on me on that one. Um, a few weeks back and said that um, yeah more exits will will be nice um, into the dome. Uh, while I've got yours though what we'll do while we prep for Operation Water is what do you guys think about putting like a dome over here? Um, maybe it's putting like a large dome maybe it's off of uh, I think I mentioned it last week but uh, I didn't get any comments back on it um, putting another dome in here uh, obviously when we expand the base, we can't really go any more that way. Uh, the way we've sort of gone with the base. Um, I'm wanting to turn like sort of like this section here into more of... Uh, well, without falling off the top of the container. Uh, more into like a main entrance. Um, I think what we'll do eventually is... Obviously this section here we won't go too much. Uh, we don't really go to it much anymore anyway. Other than doing the uh, the nuclear fusion side of it. Now obviously we'll keep that grinding constantly just so we get more uranium rods. I'd rather have more uranium rods now than having to sit there and wait for them, uh, which is the annoying thing. But yeah, I think this might be more of a main entrance in and out the base eventually. Um, for right now, I don't think so. Um, I think it's more of a, um, like a secondary entrance. Another, en another entrance and exit for if we need it, for whatever reason. We've also got more... Um, plug power there if we need it so more, more places to plug stuff into I think I've also got some on that one as well 
Uh, we've also got those there and those there on two of the greenhouses, uh, which is nice. So if we need to plug more stuff in, we can. Um, yeah, um, I think this might... I'm hoping to get this more of a main entrance. I think putting a dome here would be nice uh, because then we get to see like the sunsets uh, and stuff like that as well. Who knows? I might even just like remove this and put like two domes here. Who knows? That might be a thing. Uh, right, let's go make some uh, some pipes for tomorrow because we're going to go do Operation Water. Um, right, so how many of these do you think I need? So there's a hundred. So that, I think that's a thousand. Yeah, because it makes ten. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make four hundred. So that's something like four thousand. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do that. We can make that. Yes, yes. Um, let's do it. But there's a load of pipe, but if we don't use it, we can always recycle it. Is my way of thinking. Uh, yeah, we actually used up a load of materials right there as well, which is nice because we've got loads which we need to sort of start uh, using, really. We've got, to be honest with you, we've got that much aluminium. I don't know what to do with it anymore. Um, right, uranium. Uh, let's make let's split eight uranium uranium out because I think uh, our what's it called is done. So we'll go over there and we'll go refill those um, today as well. In the next three hours, get in, which means we might not be able to sleep most of the night, but that's fine. Uh, right, let's just put the uranium in here. We'll keep these guys in here. It doesn't really matter. Start these guys off, uh, just so they're not sitting there idling. I wish you could uh, manually load, uh, automatically load these guys. That might be a thing for the future, especially if you, you know, you've got all the materials. You can just dump them in somewhere and then chain stuff. Not sort of like you can in like Minecraft or something like that. I know I refer to Minecraft a lot in this game, but uh, I don't know. It sort of reminds me of that. Like, uh, obviously, like a lot of the automation stuff in that game is actually really, really good. Um, I really, really like it. I still love the game. Actually, it's uh, quite it's still a fun game to play, especially with mods. That might be a thing I actually start up. Maybe maybe it's doing like a mod of Minecraft or something. I don't know. I don't know if you guys will like it or not. It's different, but uh, yeah, who knows? I'm not going to become a Minecraft YouTuber. Definitely not. <laughs> I think I uh, I have the odd occasional curse in this uh, series. Try not to. Um, one thing I do on stream though is um, yeah, it, I, I become very uncensored. Uh, if something really knocks me or something like that, there's definitely a curse word getting thrown. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of my well to be fair, I, I do say a lot of my content is for higher age rated uh, stuff, so right actually let's go check to see what the base power is doing. Um I haven't checked in a while and that's just the whole thing with the water and stuff. I kept on checking I kept on coming to like this console and checking um this side of it. But what I'm not doing is checking this side of it. Um so it looks like we're doing like fifty fifty right now. So, yeah, I think a little bit of extra water production is not going to help. Right, in the next hour or so. Um, okay, so I think we're going to have to probably sit through a sandstorm a little bit. Right, let's go move our um, our vehicle just so it's a bit closer to home base. And um, we'll go check our um, other bits and pieces. What we'll do is we'll go close um, the rover doors as well. Just for, you know, um, immersion. I do like me. I do like the immersion. Um, I do say that a lot in the comments. And to be fair, a lot of you guys actually do agree with me. Like, yeah, watching my series is definitely it makes you feel more immersed. Like, uh, we don't do as much like stuff like sort of like like you guys don't really care if you like miss out on a few bits and pieces. But um, I really do like, uh, especially like with the greenhouse stuff. Um, you guys seem to. Um, like skip steps and stuff like that where I don't oh here's the sandstorm we're probably going to get a signal um but we're not going to go to it right let's get out close door get inside our base 
There we go. Sorted. Right. I'm off. I think this is where a lot of our damage comes from, you know, is sandstorms. Um, they seem to come quite often, actually. More often than I would like. But yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just hang around and we'll just wait for the sandstorm to go. I guess we'll go check our crops, see how they're going before we end the episode. And my voice is starting to get really, really dried out. Oh. Can't wait for a nice cold drink. Honestly, I can't wait. Uh, you guys are... You're getting there. You're not there yet, though. Uh, you guys are... You guys are there. So you guys are ready to go into here. Um, you guys are good to go, but um, lettuce. Was it lettuce I actually needed for more uh, food, by the way? No, it wasn't. It was cabbage. I need more cabbage. That's right. I need lettuce as well, but uh, we'll use that nine lettuce up first. Um, but yeah, we need more We need more cabbage. Um, as soon as we get more cabbage growing. Um, so it's going to take us a while to get that to that stage, though, because we need to move cabbage from there out into here. Which means we need to replant, uh, which then we need to move those along the line. Make seeds for at least two stages. And then we've got, like, around-the-clock production, if that makes sense. So as soon as more seeds come... Well, it's... What I say for around the clock coverage is here, uh, that's full, that's full, that's full, and the dome's full, um, is the main, like, around the clock thing. Anyway, there you go, there's our storm over. That, that, that didn't take too long whatsoever, actually. That was actually quite a quick sandstorm. Um, since it was at the end of the day as well, it means I don't need to go worry about solar or anything. I think we've got plenty. Right, um, I think what we'll do, though, is I'm going to go in this one here. I'm going to go get myself a drink. And, um, oh, what I should have done is I should have come out into the dome to watch the sandstorm. I don't mind watching the sandstorm from out in here. That now feels weird that that lights up as soon as we enter the room as well. Um, but yeah, um, we've got, like, I think we've got enough irises everywhere as well. So, like, we've got one there for the emergency exits. We've got one up here. To be honest with you, uh, I was just thinking, do I need to put an iris there? Like, yeah, we do, really. Um, just in case. Um, I was thinking, do I need to put double iris there on the end? But um, it doesn't really matter, does it? Right. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of this one here. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and everything so far. If you guys are, please do hit the like button. If not, there's a dislike button right next door. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you guys all in the next one.